How is gold mined? Answered by Big Questions Quest. Gold is a rare metal found deep in the Earth's crust. It's created in space when stars explode in supernovas billions of years ago. Gold often travels to Earth's surface through volcanic activity over millions of years. Most gold is found in tiny amounts mixed with rocks and minerals. Gold doesn't rust or tarnish, which is why it stays in the ground for so long. Gold is often found near rivers or inside mountains. Prospectors look for gold by studying rocks and soil. Geologists use maps and special tools to locate gold deposits on the ground. Some gold is found in place of deposits in riverbeds and streams. Placer gold can look like shiny flakes or small nuggets. Panning is one of the oldest methods for finding gold. Gold panning uses a pan filled with water and sand to swirl and separate gold. Because gold is heavy, it sinks to the bottom of the pan. Sluice boxes use running water to trap gold particles and riffles. Dredges are machines that scoop up riverbeds to find gold. Hard rock mining digs deep in the mountains to reach gold ore. Miners drill tunnels and shafts to reach gold deposits. Explosives are sometimes used to break apart rock. Huge trucks and machines remove tons of rock to find gold. Open pit mining digs giant holes to reach gold-bearing rocks. Underground mining uses elevators to lower miners deep below ground. Gold ore is the rock that contains gold, not pure gold. The ore must be crushed into small pieces before gold can be extracted. Crushing machines turn large rocks into gravel-like material. After crushing, the ore is ground into powder. Water and chemicals are used to help separate the gold from rock. Cyanide is often used to dissolve gold from the crushed ore. Though dangerous cyanide is carefully managed to avoid pollution. Mercury was once used to collect gold, but is mostly banned now. Gold particles stick to mercury, forming an amalgam, but this pollutes rivers. Modern mines use safer techniques to avoid harming the environment. Gravity separation helps pull heavy gold particles away from lighter materials. Froth flotation uses bubbles to separate gold from other minerals. Smelting is the process of melting ore to collect pure gold. In smelting, the gold sinks to the bottom as molten metal. Fluxes like borax are added during smelting to remove impurities. Gold bars, called door bars, are made at the mine before refining. Refining makes gold pure enough for jewelry and electronics. Electrolysis can refine gold to over 99.99% .99 purity. Refined gold is weighed and stamped before being sold. Mining companies often sell gold to banks and jewelers. Gold is used in coins and jewelry and electronics and medicine. Some mines use robots and drones to find and process gold today. Recycled gold also reduces the need for new mining. Miners must wear safety gear like helmets and respirators. Mines are inspected to prevent cave-ins and accidents. Gold mining can harm the environment if not done responsibly. Trees are replanted around mines to restore nature. Some companies clean and recycle water used in mining. Reclaimed mining sites can be turned into parks or farms. Illegal gold gold mining often damages forests and rivers. Many countries have laws to protect nature during mining. Gold miners work in teams with engineers and geologists and machine operators. Some mines are so deep they are hotter than the desert. Special cooling systems keep miners safe underground. Gold is found on every continent except Antarctica. South Africa, China, Australia, and the USA produce the most gold. Some gold mines are over four kilometers deep. Gold rushes like in California in 1848 made thousands of people miners overnight. Many miners in history work with simple pans and picks. Today's miners rely on machines that can dig hundreds of tons a day. Gold detectors can help find gold nuggets in soil. Nuggets are large and naturally formed lumps of gold. The largest gold nugget ever found weighed over 72 kilograms. Most gold is so tiny you can only see it with a microscope. Only about one ounce of gold is found per 40 tons of ore mine. Gold mines can take years to build before they produce gold. Finding a new gold deposit is like finding a treasure map. Exploration teams use satellites and drilling to locate gold. Rock samples are sent to labs to test for gold content. If enough gold is present, a new mine may be built.
Modern mines cost millions or even billions to operate. Gold prices help decide which mines stay open. When gold prices rise, more mines start production. When prices drop, mines may close until prices improve. Artisanal miners in small villages still pan for gold by hand. Some people mine gold from old electronics like phones. Urban mining recovers gold from e-waste. Gold is soft, so it's often mixed with other metals for strength. Pure gold is called 24 karat gold. 18 karat gold is 75% pure and used for most jewelry. Gold dust from mining is melted in the beads before refining. The journey from raw rock to gold bar can take months. Mining provides jobs but must balance with protecting nature. Many companies now use eco-friendly mining techniques. Gold shine and rarity make it valuable for thousands of years. Even with modern technology, mining gold is still like a treasure hunt. Stay curious and keep learning fun facts. See you next time, Big Questions Quest.